One 2.2 has been released, and we are going to show a quick demo of what is available in Comfy UI. In Comfy UI, you will see that there are three new templates for One 2.2. Let's start with the 5 billion model video generation workflow. The template will tell you to download the new models being used for One 2.2. Click on Download, or use the URL that links to the Comfy UI One 2.2 Hug and Face repository. In the Comfy UI blog, you will find the instructions of how to install and run the workflows and models. It also includes the links to the different models used. In the repository, you have separated folders for the VE, the clip text encoders, and the diffusion models. Check out that different workflows are going to use different VAEs. The 5 billion model is a hybrid model which can be used for both text to video and for image to video. Back in Comfy UI, refresh the nodes to make sure the new models can be loaded. For this workflow, we use the new one 2.2 VE. We will do first a text to video generation. Change your prompt to describe the scene you want. We add a video combine node to be able to save the videos, although you can use the native nodes if you want. When ready, run the war flow. Nice scenes can be made already with the 5B model, but it really depends on how lucky you are with the seed. Sometimes are good, and sometimes not that much. In case that you do not find the workflows, updating Comfy may not be enough. You can update the templates manually by typing the pip install command here shown. If you work in a virtual environment, do not forget to activate it. The same workflow and model are used for image to video. Activate the load image node by pressing Ctrl and B, or by clicking on the arrow symbol of the pop-up bar. Select or upload the reference image you want to use to create your video. Add a prompt which describes the action that is going to take place with your reference image. You can use any AI tool or prompt generator to get inspired. I use Gemini in my case. This image has portrait orientation, so we need to swap the width and height. We do that in the one 2 to image to video latent node. When finished, run the workflow. Not perfect, but still impressive. If you want to test the 5B model in RunPod, I leave a link in the description with my pod template. There are two workflows for the 14 billion parameters models. One for text-to-video, and one for image-to-video. When you select the text-to-video workflow, it will ask you to download the text-to-video models. Just do like before. You can see that there are two models required, one for high noise and one for low noise. We will use the FP8 versions. Confirm that the models are properly loaded. Observe that the 14 billion models use the WAN 2.1 V, not the new version we used for the previous workflow. Use now the prompt that you want for your animation. Like before, we use a video combine node. The 720 pixels resolution will take too long, so we change it to 480 pixels. Of course, you can also reduce the number of frames if you are drafting or want to change the frames per second of the video. We will keep the 121 frames. Finally, we set the type to default for both high and low noise models. When ready, run the workflow. As you see, this is a two step workflow. We use the first sampler with the high denoise model, which is trained for the early stages, focusing on overall layout. The second sampler is for refining and uses the low denoise model, which is trained to refine video details. This approach allows to more flexibility and creative approaches, but it requires of more computational power because of using two models. Like all text to video models, the prompt and the seed matter. More dynamism and details can be achieved with this 14B models. However, expect to do some trial and error. Finally, let's take a look at the image to video workflow. No surprise, you will need to download and use the high and low noise models, 
but for image to video. Select the image you want to animate. Change the prompt and use one that describes what you want to happen in the scene. Reduce the resolution to 480 pixels. Smaller frames reduce the rendering time, and frames can be easily upscaled later. Complete the workflow as you want, and run it. Beautiful creations with the new version of Juan. Thanks for watching.